and in this video I will make a beginning on confidence intervals. Now, confidence intervals are, are more important than uh, point estimates because so suppose, for example, uh, s somebody asks you what is the temperature right now. I mean, you, you could say say it is uh, 12 centigrade, but that will not be exact because, as you know, temperature changes every second, every minute, every hour. So this, this estimate may not be accurate. It will be better to say uh, better to say that the temperature, say, lies between, say, 11 point uh, 9 centigrade and say 12.2 centigrade. So this is an interval of estimates which is more meaningful than the giving a point estimate, right? So this that's exactly why, that is why certain definitions of uh, relating to confidence interval. Okay. So the first definition, uh, okay, before I talk about the definitions, let me write down something. Um, so these are definitions relating to confidence interval. So suppose Suppose you have a, a random sample x1 to xn uh, from a distribution parameterized by a parameter theta. So I will give you uh, four different definitions. The first definition is as follows. Uh, times 1 minus alpha percent confidence interval for theta is an interval uh, with two uh, limits. L is the lower limit, which is a function of the data, and U is the upper limit, also a function of the data. Okay such that so this is the confidence interval such that it must satisfy the following condition that the probability that that the probability that theta lies between these two limits 
In other words, the probability, the lower limit is less than or equal to theta, less than or equal to the upper limit. is equal to one minus one minus alpha. So this is the definition of a confidence interval. Number two now confidence limits the keyword here is confidence limits. Confidence limits are simply the, the lower and upper informs. So the probability is simply the probability that the theta lies between the lower limit and the upper limit. Okay, that's known as the coverage probability. And finally, uh, the final definition is the coverage length. The coverage length is defined as the, the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit. So these are the, the four definitions that we will need um, for the later videos. But for, for now this is the end of this video and in the next video I shall talk about one sample confidence intervals.